Hey what's up guys, Technoreviews here. In this video I'll show you 5 things which you might not know your Android phones can do. Before starting this video make sure to hit the red subscribe button on our channel and also press the bell icon beside it as to get quick notifications of our new uploads. At first let's talk about pen drives. This is a pen drive but as you can see it has got another end to it which can be connected to our Android smartphones if the smartphone is OTG enabled. Nowadays almost every smartphone has got this OTG feature enabled so once connected it will pop up the notification to open the pen drive data in some file manager. Once you do that it will show you all the files present in the pen drive. From here you can copy paste the files on your device or this way you can extend the storage of your device connecting your favorite OTG device like pen drives or card readers. Up next I'm gonna show you how you can control your PC or Mac without using the mouse of your computer. So guys basically you can make your Android phone perform like the mouse of your computer. This works not only in Android but also in your iOS devices like an iPhone. So in Android you need to get into the Play Store and search for this particular application called Remote Mouse. The same way you will get the same app on iOS App Store. So first you need to download and install the mobile application then we need to head onto our computer and there you need to get into this particular website which is linked in the description of this video. Once you're in the website you will get two buttons. Click on get now and it will show you the remote app which you need to get from the respective platform like play store or app store and downwards you'll get the links of the remote mouse server which you need to install on your PC or Mac. For Mac you can try the direct DMG file or you can get it right from the Mac App Store. In the App Store the app is free so just get the app from the App Store and install it right away. Once installed open it, hit on no thanks and it will start running the application on your Mac. On the status bar you will find the app icon but now we don't need to do anything from our computer. You just need to make sure that both your computer and your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now in the first run it will show you some tutorials and informations which you need to follow as to get things done. So this space is for controlling your mouse cursor. Tap once for left click, two finger tap for right click and you can even swipe with two fingers for scrolling the screen. Now that doesn't end there as we have various other functions in this particular application. We have got this touchpad look for left and right click and even we have got the keyboard button which can be used for accessing the keyboard. Use the play button if you want to get more remotes for your favorite music applications but for this you need to purchase this separate application. Now the best part is the next option where it shows every application which is present on your computer's dock. So from here you can launch any application like launchpad, you can even run chrome as it is present on my dock. The next option even gives you the ability to use the power options which you can control right from your smartphone. So guys that way you can basically make your android phone perform like a remote mouse for your computer. Now let's check out how we can make our android phone an external monitor or screen for our DSLR camera. For that first you need to install the respective applications for your particular camera. If you are having a Canon camera then you need to search for DSLR controller and you will get this app which is the best app for Canon DSLRs. Now if you are having a Nikon DSLR then you want to search for Helicon remote. Guys this application is by far the best application for getting live view screen from your DSLR to your Android device. It not only supports Nikon DSLRs but even supports Canon, Sony and various other brands. For Panasonic DSLR users try searching for Panasonic image app. Now in this case I'm having a Nikon DSLR so I'll be using Helicon remote. So once we are done installing the application, now we need to have two cables. One is the USB cable which has been provided with our DSLR camera and the other is an OTG cable. So on the camera cable you need to connect one of the end to your DSLR camera and the other end to the OTG cable. An OTG cable has got a USB female type in one end and the other end has got a micro USB type. 
So connect the camera USB cable with the OTG cable and connect the OTG to your Android smartphone. Once done, it will show a pop-up like this, hit on OK and it will start mirroring the DSLR screen on your Android phone. From here, basically you can control everything like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, white balance, exposure and whatnot. You can even adjust the focus but it works best on Canon DSLRs. On the live view section, you can enable or disable the live view function and can even use the other options. From the tool section, you can start recording a video and can even make beautiful time lapse. So guys, if your DSLR has got a fixed screen and you want to have an external screen for your vlogs or other videos, that way you can make your Android phone perform like an external monitor for your DSLR. Now while talking about OTG cable, I want to show you some other ways of using an OTG cable. For this, let me first connect this end of the OTG cable to my smartphone. Now guys, on the other end, you can connect pen drives. Just connect it, gives you a file manager pop-up and there you'll get all the files present on the USB pen drive. Like an OTG pen drive, you can use an OTG cable and make use of your ordinary pen drive with your Android smartphone. You can even connect your card readers with the help of an OTG cable and can view pictures or videos taken with your DSLR on your Android smartphone. Isn't that great? Let me know in the comments down below. So guys, first go ahead and get an OTG cable for your Android phone. Now last but not the least, I want to show you how you can control your television from your Android phone without the need of your TV remote. Guys, nowadays most of the Android smartphones comes with an IR blaster. An IR blaster lets you control your home appliances like TV, air conditioner, your set-top box right from your Android phone. So if your phone has got an IR blaster, then go ahead in the Play Store and install Peel Remote application as right now I'm controlling my TV and my setup box from that particular application which is called Peel Remote. It has got various kinds of home appliances like TV, AC, home theater, DVD player, camera, air cooler and also supports almost every popular brands of these appliances. And those were the 5 things which some of you might not know that your Android phone is capable of doing. So go ahead and try it out. And guys that's all for this video and if you had liked this video then do hit the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel and I will catch you guys in the next one.